Okay, I am ready to show you. Actually, uh, me first of all, gluing up the back side of the magnet here. Say, I just sit here and press hard because uh, I don't want to put too much glue on here. I want to keep it nice and thin because uh, by the time you spread it on both surfaces and then heat them up, they'll they'll just uh, melt together. So. But what I'm doing here is uh, just trying to, you know, get this glue stuck on here as best as possible. So press hard. In case you got greasy fingerprints, I just work it for a little while, you know. Oh, and the other thing which I forgot to do, darn it, is uh, take a piece of sandpaper, like 220 sandpaper, and and rough the back rough the side of the magnet you're going to glue on because that gives it a little bit of uh, the glue a little bit of teeth to bite into on the material so it'll stick better but of course I just forgot to do that so anyway uh, there you got your glue on that sucker um, so usually what I do is I put it on the end of this when I'm ready to glue it so that it's easier to see anyway uh, what I do is Park up my torch here. Like I say, you don't want. I I keep it about like that. You you don't want to heat. Uh, there's glue residual glue on here, but you don't want it so hot that you you're burning the glue. You just want it to melt, you know. So I'll get this. Uh, you know, I'll heat the bracket up on that part. I'm going to use this part here to. Uh, uh, apply the uh, heat to the uh, glue surfaces. This wing was totally cold, so usually I'll preheat it. See, that's that's definitely hot enough because you can see the glue is starting to burn there. And you can tell uh, when you press it on here that you can, you can feel that glue. I might have this a little too hot right now. You can feel that glue just move around, turns liquid. I don't like putting too much heat on the magnet, so I do this one kind of quick. Get this one going. Do that. And get her on there. And then I'll put a lot of pressure on it until it cools off. I can put my glasses on here. Make sure I got. See, I drew a line here as a reference, so I, I know I'm in the middle. I did a good, good enough job there. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention. I'm going to go ahead and do all of these, but uh, I wanted to mention too that afterwards, what I what I'm doing too is I'll put a clamp on here. And put put uh, good pressure on, it and then use my heat gun and warm this back up, and that'll help to press the magnet on even better. So that seemed to help a lot too. Anyway, let's do the next one. This one's so balanced. All right, warm our bracket back up. Alright. 
feel it squishing all over. That one. You don't want to move quick. Well, you do have a little time to adjust it, but not much. I figured out basically uh, by using a uh, drill bit where the center point of the magnetism is, you can just kind of feel that center point so I knew it. I basically wanted to get this pretty much in the center so mention that alright next one Nice thing about this hot glue is that you can get it apart. <laughs> you, uh, you know, like when I'm uh, I'm experimenting around, so I want to be able to change things. change that to I'm have to peel this guy out here that one. So, I'll show you another one. Okay, put this aside.
Schaden auch. Alright, now let's fix this guy. So I messed up there, so I'll just cut some of this off. So to start over again. Alright. Luckily my glue gun is still on and dripping everywhere. Okay. So we will do this again. And then our magnet again. Ripping off more of the clean, more of that uh, coating that's on there that came off. This again. As soon as you start seeing that the smoke, you know you're on. <laughs> See how balanced it is. So those are supposedly six identical magnets. Anyway, that's what I'm going to play with, and there we have it. Um, hope you guys uh, get something out of this. All right, see ya.